Hello and welcome to Adam Sharp Weekly. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can get started with implementing your own custom property wrapper in Swift language. First of all, I am actually using Xcode 11 Beta 3. So make sure that you are using the latest version or the beta version of Xcode 11 Beta 3. You can install it as a separate installation. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so let's get started with our property wrapper. Now the property wrapper that we will be implementing will be called the upper case. And we are going to decorate or we are going to apply that property wrapper to our property and that property will become uppercase. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is going to create a class and that class is actually decorated with property wrapper attribute. You can see over here on line number four. The name of the property wrapper is uppercase. Now, when you're creating a property wrapper and when you are using the property wrapper attribute or the property wrapper, uh, you have to create a property called wrapped value. So before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and create a private property var and I will call it value, which will be of type string equals to this. This is my private property that I will be doing or changing it or altering it and then I will return it using the wrapped value property, which is actually required. Wrapped value required. First, we have to implement the getter. Now, in the latest version of Swift, which is Swift 5.x or something, you don't really have to put a return over here if you only have one single line, which in this case I do. I only have to return the value, which is the value of this private property. So I'm just going to say value. This is actually very common and it's also in JavaScript, like closures, if you're doing JavaScript, it's very common over there also. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and set the property. So I need to update this property or update this private property value equals to with the new value that the person is gonna set. But I will also call the uppercase, which is already built into the Swift language. So this means that any time a person is going to set a new value, that value will be uppercase, converted to uppercase, and then assigned to the value property. That's it. That's our uppercase property wrapper. Now let's go ahead and see that how we can actually use it. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and create a very simple class or structure. So structure driver. All right, now this particular structure contains only one property, which is license. So this is the driver license number. I can actually go ahead and decorate the uppercase property wrapper on the license property. This means that anytime I will access the license property, the getter is gonna get called. Anytime I will set the property license, the setter is gonna get called. And you can see when the setter is gonna get called, whatever value I'm gonna set will be uppercased and assigned to the value. So now let's go ahead and create an instance of the driver structure and start using our license property. So I'm gonna go over here and say driver equals to driver. Well, one thing you will realize is that instead of giving us the option of putting in the string data type for the license, it has somehow changed it to uppercase, which we don't really want. Maybe this is a bug and it will be fixed in the future, but we can get around that by simply extending the driver class or driver structure and creating our own initializer. And inside the initializer, we can actually go ahead and set the license number. Now, when I go ahead and run this or try to access a driver, you can see that we have a new initializer where I can actually go ahead and pass in the driver license number. So I'm passing the driver license number or everything is small. Now let's see what happens if I try to say driver.license. So I'm just trying to access this. And if I go ahead and run, run this, you can see that our property wrapper is actually helping us out and it is making everything capitalized. Great, right? So whenever you set this, the property wrapper setter is gonna get called. Whenever you get the value or get the property, the getter is gonna get called. But the real benefit of a property wrapper is that it's not like this uppercase can only be applied to the license. I mean, I can obviously create another property like state 
And then I can say uppercase over here also. So this means that anytime I will assign something to the state, it will be capital. It will be converted into a capital. So if I can say state, and I can say TX for Texas, but in small. But look what happens if I go ahead and try to access it, driver.state, and go ahead and run this. And you can see TX is now capital. So this is a very common use of property wrappers. And you can create one single property wrapper that can be applied to many different fields, many different properties. So that's the kind of like a very small overview of creating a very simple property wrapper. If you enjoyed this video and want to support my YouTube channel, then the best way would be to simply go to Udemy and check out my new course on Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. This is a brand new course. As you can see, this is the highest rated course on Swift UI, and I already have 310 students enrolled. So I highly recommend that you check out this course if you are interested in learning about Swift UI. Now, one thing to note is that the link to the course is already part of the YouTube description. So please use that link. If you use that link, that link already has coupon added to it. So if you click on it, you're gonna get the best deal. And if you use my coupons, which you can use because if you're gonna click on the link, it will go and use my coupon. I get to keep like 90% of the profit and you'll get the best deal. So you'll get it for $9 basically $10, $9.99, and I get to keep, if you use the coupon, I get to keep like maybe 90% uh, of that. So please use the coupons, and there is a list of other stuff also, uh, other different courses. So if you're interested in Node or ARK or machine learning, there are coupons for that also. So go ahead and utilize those coupons. And right at the end of the YouTube description for this video, and for most of the videos, is a link for my mailing list. In the mailing list, I send out the articles, I send out some other coupons, send out the updates, the speaking engagements, and all of those different things. So if you want, you can definitely subscribe to the mailing list. And if you do subscribe to the mailing list, you will get a free Shortcut Siri book. Yes, if you subscribe to my mailing list, you will get a free ebook right in your mail. So go ahead and do that. And I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.